Now we'll talk about differentiability and continuity. And this term differentiability just refers to whether a function can be differentiated or not. In other words, whether it has a derivative or not. And the term continuity refers to whether it's continuous or not. And these two ideas are related in an important way. And we'll illustrate this by taking a look at this function. So here's f of x sketched in yellow and certain x values are marked along the way here. And we'll look at each of these and talk about whether the function is continuous or differentiable or not at those points. Now you might not ever actually encounter a function exactly like this one, but this will il illustrate the concepts. And if you're taking notes on the printed page, you can um, mark up your diagram a little bit. And I'm just going to make some notes about each of these points here. Each, so at these, at these various x values. So this first one here, at this point, the function has a derivative at this point. The graph is continuous. There's no gap right through here in this region. And it's smooth. There's no cusp. So it, it is therefore differentiable at that point. So I'm going to write it's continuous and smooth. And so it has a derivative at that point. And I'll just abbreviate derivative with capital D just to uh, save space on the page here. At this point, the function is continuous. Okay, there's no gap there. But it's not smooth. We'll say but it's not smooth. There's a cusp there. So there's no derivative at that point. You could talk about a slope here just to the left of that point and a slope just to the right of that point. It would make sense to talk about left and right derivatives, but not the derivative. Now at this point, the function is discontinuous. It's actually discontinuous at that point because it is undefined at that point. And so there's no derivative at that point. At both of these points, the function is defined at those points. There is a y value. But at both of those, those points, it is discontinuous. So I'll say it is undefined, but is discontinuous at those points. So there's no derivative at those points. That function is not differentiable at those points. And then right here, here we have a vertical asymptote. The function is not defined at that point. And if it's not defined at that point, and specifically there's no, there's, it, it's not continuous at that point, this is a discontinuity, an infinite discontinuity. So there's no derivative at that point. And those ideas should make sense to you. If you understand that the derivative of a graph at a point is the slope of the graph at that point, it should make sense to you that the function has to have a well-defined slope at that point. And in order to have a well-defined slope at a given point, the function has to exist at that point. So we can complete this statement. For a function to be differentiable at a point, it must be continuous and smooth at that point. It must be continuous and smooth at that point. So those of you that are taking notes on the, on the printed lecture notes, fill that in in your notes. For a function to be differentiable at a point, in other words, for it to have a derivative at a point, it has to be continuous and smooth at that point. And with all of that in mind, we should be able to answer these questions. These are true false. Uh, they're not really questions. They're statements. But each of them is either true or false. And you should understand all of these. First one, if a function is differentiable at a point, then it is continuous at that point. That is true. In order to be differentiable, it has to be continuous. It's sometimes stated this way. Differentiability implies continuity. 
And you could actually go further than that. You could say differentiability implies that the function is continuous and that it is smooth at that point. Second one, if a function is different, okay, we just answered this one. If a function is differentiable at some point, then it is smooth at that point. That is also true. And the third one, if a function is not continuous at some point, then it is not differentiable at that point. That's also true. If it's not continuous, then you can't calculate the slope at that point. And fourth one, if a function is not smooth at some point, then it is not differentiable at that point. That is also true. And the fifth one, if a function is continuous at some point, then it is differentiable at that point. Well, if it's continuous, it might be differentiable, but not necessarily because it might not be smooth at that point, so we'll say false. And for the last one, if a function is not differentiable at some point, if it's not differentiable, then it is not continuous at that point. That's also false. It may fail to be differentiable for some other reason than not being continuous. In other words, it might have a cusp there. It might not be smooth at that point. So again, getting the correct answers here in your notes isn't the important thing. Understanding those concepts is.